watching out for you this morning with the holidays fast approaching grocery stores are preparing for more shortages and to help prevent that King Super is now saying that they're going to be putting limits on buying certain items and News 5's Jessica Bretto is live with what we need to know if we're headed out to buy that haul for the holidays Jessica. Hey there, Bree. Good morning, everyone. Well, basically, grocery stores across the country want to avoid a repeat of what we saw during the beginning of the pandemic. You might remember those empty store shelves everywhere, and that's why Kroger, which owns King Supers, is limiting its customers to buy two each of paper towels, toilet paper, disinfecting wipes, also hand soap. Now, HEB, which is a chain across Texas and northern Mexico, is also putting limits on those same things, along with rubbing alcohol and first aid and cleaning gloves. Now, a supply chain expert tells us the upcoming holidays and a recent surge in COVID cases are adding to that demand. Manufacturers are focusing on their most popular products, so you may notice a little less variety, although months of steady demand have made it really tough to restock. There hadn't been really a low season um, across the board to allow for building up inventory. Uh, that we can use during the holiday season when we expect a surge in demand. Another chain, Stu Leonard, says it's ordering 20% more stock than usual before the holidays this year. Leonard's is a chain of seven supermarkets in Connecticut, New York, and New Jersey. They have already seen an uptick in purchases with things like cleaning supplies, frozen foods, also comfort foods. Now, in talking to their customers, Stu Leonard says they've noticed that more people are preparing for smaller Thanksgiving gatherings. And because of that, more people are restocking on those smaller turkeys and finding recipes for those. So with those changes in mind, there is hope that those store shelves will remain fully stocked through the end of the year. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Jessica Barreto, News 5.